So hey y'all, welcome to the coffee break. This is your time to be intentional about giving yourself the time that you need through all of this crazy that we are dealing with, the connections that we need away from work, and you know, just a quick 15 to 20 minutes to catch your breath, connect with others, and gather some tips that you can put right into practice. Um, so what we are gonna do, the chat box is free for your use. I will give the floor to share and um, more people are coming in. I will give the floor to share and you know connect and join in the conversation. Um, but I wanted to start with our theme for this week was pretty much accountability, creating your routine, decreasing your stress, um, all under that bucket, right? And we really led this week with not pressuring yourself to be productive. And then we transitioned into today's Thursday. So I'm trying to recall each and every one. Um, we transitioned into some systems and routines. And then yesterday was accountability for your wellness routine, right? Um, what I realized this morning when I woke up and just did not feel like I needed to be with it was that it was um, super, hmm, what's the word? Today was just not the day, right? It wasn't the day, and although I said I'm going to be accountable, and I felt like my body was telling me, Courtney, you need to do the workout. You need to do the workout. Um, it wasn't going to happen. And as much as I wanted to, wanted it to, I was like, I'm not getting out of this bed for this 16 workout. And I love those workouts. They're 30 minutes. They're short. They're sweet. But there was nothing that was going to make me feel like I wanted to. And I felt like this post that I just saw on Instagram maybe an hour or so ago was so timely. I won't even lie. I've been taking this day by day. I don't have a fancy schedule, no special productive plan. If I'm feeling sad, I'll just lay in bed. If I'm feeling creative, I'll get up and slay. I'm just giving myself this time to feel whatever I feel. And when I tell you that sat with me and that's where I was this morning, I was feeling the bed and so I stayed in it until I felt like the time was right for me to get up. And then I went on, I went for a walk and then actually became productive in having like a little small fitness session with myself. So I walked, did a few laps and then used the stairs to my advantage with my resistance bands. And that was it. I was okay. It got my energy up a little bit and then I was fine with, you know, settling and being where I was up until now. Um, so that's that grace that we were talking about the other day and making sure that we're extending it to ourselves. So what I want you all to do is chime in either via the group chat or um, you can share out how have you been extending yourself grace during this time, especially when you're not keeping to your routines or the things that you expect to get done. So you can unmute yourself and kind of just speak into the silence as we get it going. Hi everyone, this is Taylor. Um, please excuse that I don't have my video up. I literally just got off the bed when Courtney texted me about it. Um, but when um, we talked about this, you know, me, Tabitha, and Courtney before everybody got on, that um, pretty much just allowing yourself to do just that, to just roll out the bed, and when you are ready to work, to do the work. Don't be, um, don't apologize for anything at this time. Like at this time, it's important that we're alive and healthy and just get done what you want to get done. You don't have to start a new craft. You don't have to do anything extreme. Just, you know, being alive and being good to yourself right now is how I pretty much extend myself grace. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Anyone else want to add? to um, echo what Taylor just said. I think um, this idea of giving myself grace is really new <laughs> to mm. me, um, especially during this pandemic, specifically this week. Um, I had a really rough start to the week um, that really has kind of like impacted how productive and effective I've been these past couple days, but I've really just been um, reflecting and allowing myself to just like she said, you know, roll out of bed when I can, you know, move when I can, but more importantly, um, really getting to the root of why I feel this way. Like, is it just a day or is it me extending myself too much? Is it um, me not filling myself up and prioritizing what I need, which may be a walk, which may be some ice cream, which may be a TV show, like whatever it is, um, and just really 
like that reflection piece is how I'm also giving myself grace, I would say. I really love that you said that, Rashawn. Um, I actually call Rashawn Scarbo, but I'm going to say Rashawn for the purposes of this because that's <laughs> what you see her name as. I love that you said that because one of the things one of the things that I think is important to be able to affect change in your routine, your day, whatever you feel like you want to um, switch things up or how you want to switch things up is figuring out how you got there, how you got to that point um, so you can then correct the problem. And it's seven tips that I have that I'll close us out with. Um, Comancia wrote into the chat, I've been trying to find the balance between extending myself some grace and being productive slash making things happen. Still trying to figure out what that looks like, but I do have an accountability partner now. So that's one of the things that we were talking about yesterday. How are you going to keep yourself accountable? Do you have an accountability partner? So how many people have an accountability partner? I wish there was a poll feature. Hey, Courtney. Hi, guys. Um, Hi, I can't show my face. My hair is not twisted up yet, and my son is doing some schoolwork, so excuse me. Um, but I think for me, trying to balance out my job um having my son and my nephew and kind of like making sure that i have time for myself has been a little challenging um i do have an accountability partner who like checks in with me make sure make sure that i am taking time for myself and not overloading and burning myself out um my job just dumps things on us every week <laughs> as courtney might you know experience in the past they just dump 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 and mm -hmm. um you know i've, I've learned to wake myself up a little bit earlier, have my conversation with God, and then start my day yes. um, and check in with people. Um, you know, we're at a time right now where everybody's just like crammed with everything one time. We're working from home, exercising, raising our kids, doing work. Um, and that me time is very important. So just, just check in with yourself. I think it's super, mm -hmm. super, super, super important. I love it. And I love that we're all taking this time to do just that and connect and make sure that it's, it's happening, right? So even if you don't have your own individual accountability partner, we have each other to hold each other accountable, at least Monday through Friday. And keeping that in mind, you can even use one o'clock as your time, like, oh, I'm supposed to be taking a break. Let me give myself 20 minutes. And that's on Saturday and Sunday too. So one thing that Shekinah said um, that really stuck with me was how she grounds herself and how she has her conversation with God in the morning, right? Um, and if you're spiritual and not religious and things like that, you have to figure out what it is in your routine that will ground you. So where I messed up this morning was the fact that I stayed in bed, right? So you're supposed to wake up on time. I woke up on time. I woke up at six o'clock for my 615 workout, but I didn't get out of bed. The key to that is getting out of bed, putting your two feet on the floor, letting them land and like really just getting there. I stayed in the bed and I started scrolling started scrolling, set myself up to fail, right? So wake up on time, get out of bed, no phone. So you can pray, you can meditate, you can say your mantras, your affirmations, whatever it is that you do to ground yourself. And those are three examples that you could use is really clear or is a real solid way to just get started, right? Um, then morning routine, skincare routine, whatever it is that you do. Work out, exercise, get your body moving, the blood flowing, shower, or however it is that you get your day started. Those are, those are things, I mean, I hope everybody brushing their teeth and washing their face in the morning, but how you can really get it going. And then your breakfast or your smoothie, your juice, I juice every morning. And I, I'm proud to say, and this is where I'm going to extend myself free. I didn't do my structured workout. I still did 20 to 30 minutes of something. And then I juice. And I had a smoothie today. So I didn't have any solid food yet today. And we know that my goal is to stop the junk eating. I'm proud to say I didn't give in to the donuts that I brought Aiden this morning because it was a half dozen. They were sitting on the table and they were really tempting. Um, I just want to bring back one of the things that Taylor said and someone echoed um, earlier this week. And it's sticking with the day. And um, it was sticking with the day and just setting out what her day was going to look like when she woke up, going with the feels that she had. Um, and then you, you just dive in. You dive in when you're ready, right? So Chrissy shared, hold on, let me scroll up a little bit. I love the transparency. And then Chrissy shared, 
she doesn't sleep with her phone in her room. Ooh, I love that. Anybody else do that? You're not sleeping with the phone in your room, so it's easy to, ooh, I, I really love that. So it's easy to get up instead of laying down and scrolling. Um, Taylor shared, I think it's also important to be true to self. And then Rashawn, echoing Rashawn, today or has been for a few days, look deeper, like Rashawn said. I love it. Who is going to die, um, jump in? Uh, me. Go ahead, Hi, Tabitha. Hi, everyone. Um, on my phone, I have a Galaxy. So a new feature that the Galaxy has is me time or work focus time. Um, and if you turn on your focus mode, they've updated it again, but it turns kind of like all your apps off, like even your text apps. So like for Android's Do Not Disturb, is it really like Do Not Disturb? You kind of still get the alerts that either somebody called you or messaged you, but under this like focus app, you don't get anything until you turn the app off, like the focus app off. So they have it for work mode and me mode. So I've done that at night where I'm like, just mindlessly scrolling and I'm like, okay, I need to try to just put myself to sleep. And right. it actually like helps a lot at night. I love so, it. I love it. Galaxy Apple. <laughs> I love it. Taylor, what's the app that you use for because Tabitha has um oh Apple doesn't have it anymore. Never mind. So maybe our yeah, goal is to find uh, an app that does have that. it. I think it's called the Me app. I still have it on my phone, but it does not have that feature that it used to have where you can literally hide all your apps you cannot access them until the time is up so it forces you to dedicate that time to your workspace like literally it shut everything away and it's like I, that's why i was like oh my god i missed that app because when i needed to get stuff done for real it forced me to get it done mm, i really love that i'm thinking um the screen time app is sort of like that with the screen time feature in the iphone but it's not as um you can override it if you want so for Tabitha and Taylor, do the Focus app and the Me app, did they allow you to override or it was like no hard stop? You can't access this. Um, the override is only for like phone calls and text messages, but all your other apps are shut down. You cannot use them. Hmm. Right, when you set this app up, you can pick which apps you would want open. So like phone calls, calendar, like they'll have certain ones. Um, but if you go while, like if I wanted to go check Instagram while in focus mode, a message would pop up. You're in focus mode right now. You can't access this app. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like that, especially when I'm having like random bouts of productivity. Um, so Julian also shared that there's another app called Freedom which I think is amazing. So there's apps for everything. We just have to figure out which ones work the best. Um, all right, so here's what I call the change makers, right? And when I realized, not even when I realized, so last night amongst or similar to most nights, I, and I'm looking at the TV because it is like the bane of my existence right now. I stayed up to, Finish binging and, of course, watch the season finale of or series finale of Little Fires Everywhere. Um, it was a setup for me to fail because I think I was up until two o'clock. Um, yes, Julian, Elena, I'm so over her. Um, but I realized that, Courtney, if you want to wake up in the morning and actually be productive and make it to your workout routine, the problem is that you need to figure out, well, you need to figure out what the problem is. It's the problem's clear, I'm staying up too late at night. So if I'm staying up until two o'clock in the morning, I'm not gonna wanna get out the bed at six o'clock. I need four and a half to five hours of sleep to be able to be functional and not irritable in the morning. Um, so once I did that, it was like, or once I had that reflection again for like the 13th time during staying at home it's like okay this isn't gonna work so when are you going to change this we can talk all we want about the the cycle of change and the pre-contemplate the contemplative state and all of those things but i really want us to make it sticky and sit with these seven things of course with everything during this time we want to be graceful and kind to ourselves and i really took notes today because i i wanted to make it work for me too um, but be graceful and kind to yourself. Identify the cause. 
So for me, my cause is Netflix and Hulu and binging all the time. And as my cousin texts me more new shows to watch, I get caught up and don't want to do much. Um, then, so as you're doing that, you're asking how, how am I getting to this point where I'm just binging all day? For some days it's okay, but for others, if I want to be productive and I'm going to need to move on and like really make change in these areas. Um, three, deal with the real problem. So if the real problem is me watching Netflix all day, maybe I need to set an alarm. Like Rashawn said earlier, she has the bedtime feature, I think it was, um, or do not disturb goes on at nine o'clock. So maybe I'm setting an alarm that actually is labeled stop watching Netflix as a trigger to, for me to stop watching Netflix. Although it may last for another hour or two, at least I'm going to bed at 12 and not two o'clock. So that takes us to being realistic with ourselves, which is a part of dealing with the problem. We have to give ourselves some leeway and that's actually number seven, allow for slip ups. So let me continue. Three is deal with the real problem. Four, you need to write it down and make it sticky. So if I'm going to say, go to bed at 11 o'clock or go to bed at 12 o'clock, maybe I put that on the TV and it's a reminder for me also to go to bed at 11 o'clock. If I want to wake up at six o'clock, I could write down, wake up at six o'clock. And then it's something that's constantly being embedded into my brain. Five, always, always, always get your accountability partner or something that's going to hold you accountable. Um, six, give yourself time. We talked about it yesterday um, where it takes 21 days to form a habit. If you're constantly doing the habit, especially during this time when there's not much else interfering, then it might form much sooner. And then seven, allow yourself for slip ups, which brings us full cycle in giving yourself grace and being kind to yourself. So before we close out, what do we think about these seven, I'm gonna call them the seven change makers. What do we think about those? Is there something missing? Do we think those are doable? What are we thinking? Oh, number two is identify the cause and ask, how did I get here? Oh, thank you, Rashawn, for writing that in the chat. I love that. So be grateful and kind to yourself. Two, identify the cause. Three, deal with the real problem. Four, write it down. Um, five, get yourself an accountability. I love it. Department. <laughs> Not just a partner, a whole department. Six, give yourself time. And then seven, allow for the slip up. So what are we thinking? I'll go. Um... So Courtney knows, she's my cousin, so she knows like for me, I'm very hard on myself in general. Um, I think growing up with a West Indian mother, just like expectations are always super high. And um, so that's something that I've worked on just like giving myself a break. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, I work out a lot. I focus a lot on what I eat, like I'm super healthy, but this week I was just like, I don't care. I just came off a super stressful project at work last week. So this week, I've literally, this morning, I had Chick-fil-A for breakfast. I'm sitting in the bed, eating these as I watch TV. Like, I've just given myself, so today and tomorrow, to just yeah. do what I want to do as far as eating, not thinking about it, not, oh, how many calories, it's just whatever I want to do. And then Saturday, I get back on my routines of juicing and doing smoothies. And, but just giving myself these couple of days to just unwind. And, mm -hmm. and do nothing um, and be guilt-free about it. Cause I think that's the other part. Sometimes yes. things, and then we're like, we feel like shit after. It's like, why did I eat the Oreos? Why did I do this? You don't genuinely get to enjoy it because you're so quick to eat up on yourself. Right. So the, my accountability partners, I have my friends who also work out. This Apple watch is amazing. I'm connected mm -hmm. to everybody so I can see what people are doing. And throughout the day, I'll just send people messages like, hey, girl, just, you know, get up and walk for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever, to try to motivate people. Mm -hmm. And they do the same for me. Um, I live in Florida, so fortunately, I can go outside and do things. Um, but if you can't, I've been recommending, like, the Nike training app to a lot of people mm -hmm. if they want to work out and do stuff in the house. You don't need any, you know, gear. You don't need weights or anything like that. Just mm -hmm. to get people motivated because I'm telling you, this is a very tough time to just be in general um and for me especially my job is a job where i am on an airplane every week i'm out monday through thursday mm -hmm. so having to sit in the house since the first week of march has been a lot for me to handle 
Um, so I'm trying to find ways to accommodate, you know, the change in my career, the change that is going on currently, but keep my sanity. Um, so I love this group. This is, I couldn't join yesterday, but I really appreciate this because this is such a good outlet to see what other people are doing, other women of color, what you guys are up to, how are you guys are coping, and just to have a really good network of folks that are all in the same all in the same. So, um, so I, I'm, I'm so glad you put this so together for me because this, this was this much was needed. Much I didn't needed. realize I needed it, but this was definitely a much needed chat. So Yay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyone else before last thoughts? Go ahead. I can go. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, I couldn't join yesterday, but I'm joining today. But um, I definitely do agree. I think that just working on ourselves, um, for me, I fell off a little bit the past couple of weeks because I experienced some losses. So that really kind of took me off track. Um, but I think this week I'm like, I need to get back to what I was doing. So the one thing I'm doing is like meditating and doing yoga to really keep me um, sane, I guess, <laughs> if that's mm -hmm. the word. And also I lost my job due to the COVID. So I've been dealing with that as well. But the good thing is I've been having interviews, which is looks promising. Um, and just talking to people that share the same thing as me that's been keeping me, I don't have a actual accountability, accountability partner right now, but I've been like pushing myself to like wake up like early in the morning, try not to go to sleep late and then just working out. And I think like the list you get is definitely something like to, I can use to really help me um, on a day to day. But um, but like Camelia said, just getting up, eating healthy, and then working out, um, just staying consistent. Um, that was something like I was struggling with is the consistency, so if I can be more disciplined. I'm just using, I'm just giving myself the permission to just be gentle. That's what I've been following. It's like I'm giving myself permission to be gentle, to take my time, to not feel like I need to rush. I have to do this. I have to get this done at this time, and to let myself go through the process that I'm feeling in day to day. Um, especially with especially experiencing the loss and not being able to see certain family members that I want to be near so it's really challenging to like okay I'm here I want to go here I want to go there I want to do this and I can't and I'm you know I'm stuck but even though I'm able to talk to them yeah FaceTime and on the phone but it's not the same as having that you know that human interaction but I think just doing those things and being just and just being true to yourself and saying like it's okay to have a, it's okay to like have a day where it's not like a good day. It's okay to like not follow the schedule the way you have a plan, but just make sure that the next day I get back to it or the two days after just giving your time to just giving yourself time to say, okay, you know what? I need a day off. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody can be on the go, but today my mentally, I'm not like getting to it because there's stuff that I need to do. And I noticed that the past couple of days, I was not able to focus no matter what I did. Like I was sit in front of my computer and for like five hours straight and I'm not putting nothing down. And I'm just like, what's wrong with me? Like what's happening with me mentally that I can't focus. So that was like something like I need to like really work on the past couple of weeks with myself. Thank you so much for sharing. And mm -hmm. I extend all the love and positive energy to you while you are um, dealing with this and trying to get back on track. And listen, you have about 12 to 13 people in here who can hold you Thank accountable you. and getting back yes. on track and taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's super important to get connected and stay connected. Thank so you. Um, we are here Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Our sessions have been a little bit longer lately, and here's the second time that I'm getting the notification from Zoom. I think it's amazing that we all are intentional about taking this time for ourselves and should continue to do so. If you ever can't make it, the recordings are on YouTube. Um, so just for a last time, we're going to be graceful and kind to ourselves always. We're going to identify the cause and ask how. We're gonna deal with whatever the real underlying problem is because it's there. There's something that's leading to this, whether you know it or not. We're gonna write it down and make it sticky. We're gonna partner up and have accountability partners. And then we're gonna give ourselves time and allow for the slip ups and the mistakes that are gonna happen. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow and do it all over again. So I will see you all tomorrow at one. Follow me on Instagram if you're not doing so already and just make sure we are staying together. So if you want to, if you repost this, I'll repost um, you on Instagram as well so you all can get connected in that way.
Okay, so thank you all for coming. I'm super excited and share the re replay and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.